I'm Pastor Dean. Thanks for joining me here at the Lakes for Good News Reflections. It's Wednesday, July 14th, and it is a beautiful day in Wapaka. For chapter day, we're reading Acts 27. We're going to, for this reflection, uh, we're going to look at verses 23 and 24 in particular, and I invite you to read the entire chapter, but I'm going to read these verses. I'm reading out of the New English Translation, the NET. Verses 20, verse 23 and 24. For last night, an angel of God, to whom, uh, of the God to whom I belong and whom I serve, came to me and said, Do not be afraid, Paul. You must stand before Caesar. And God has graciously granted you the safety of all who are sailing with you. So Paul uh, has been imprisoned and he's been sent to Rome. He's going to stand before Caesar. And he's on this ship and the whole ship, they're having nothing but problems. And uh, there's a lot of fear they're going to run out of food, they're running out of food, and that they're going to end up being shipwrecked, which eventually happens. But um, God, in the middle of the evening, sends an angel uh, to speak to Paul. And I don't know how it happens, if it happens in a dream or a vision, but whatever, it, 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 more than likely, it's up, I'm going to guess it's up when he's praying and an angelic vision comes before him and speaks to him and gives him this good news that he is going to get to go and speak to Caesar, which Paul wants to do, and that the people who travel with him, despite how bad things are going, that they will all arrive safely. And as I was just reading this chapter, and this, these verses caught me, and it's like, man, am I open to angelic vision? I think people are actually having... Uh, experiences, visions of angels, um, uh, uh, supernatural things, far more than they're willing to talk to others about it because they're afraid, oh, you're kind of weird, you know? And But actually, it's all through Scripture, and why would it not be happening now? I just uh, encourage you to share. Anytime you've had a supernatural encounter with God, you can drop one uh, in the comments below, it encourages us as believers uh, when we get to when we get to know that God is at work in this world just as He was in the time of Paul and the other apostles. God loves you, and He's blessed you to be a blessing to others.